Hey everybody, this is Poji Joe coming to you not live from the near past to tell you that it's been eight years since I started making videos for the online. Also, come come join me on my little walk through the woods. Let's let's enjoy this together. Eight years doesn't really sound like a long span of time to me, but in internet time, that is a very long time indeed. Long enough certainly to see how much YouTube has changed, how all different online communities have changed. It is very drastic. And one of those things that's changed is that uh, online video used to be a lot more focused on creating these fan bases and subscribers and these communities, whereas now it's more about like going with algorithms and stuff, which isn't necessarily good or bad, it's just different. And back in the day, I feel like you'd see more of these kind of collaborations between different channels to try to build those audiences. And so today, instead of talking about all the different videos that I've done over the past eight years, I want to talk about some of the videos that I've featured on on other people's channels over the years. Now, if you want to watch any of these videos in their entirety, there's a playlist on my YouTube channel called uh, something like videos I've been featured on or something. So there's this website called Social Blade. You might have seen it before. Basically it collects statistics from different YouTube videos and channels. And one of the earliest big supporters of my channel was Jason Ergo, the creator of Social Blade. There was this one time he did a video on, uh, on my channel where I did like a fake interview with him and I had this cheesy character. Uh, but there's also a clip uh, on his channel of me being interviewed while I was making my musical movie with him and David of Sonic Orb Studios. And uh, clearly I didn't really know how to cover my bow ties very well. When that movie came out, he actually put it on the front page of Social Blade, which led to this really funny moment where I stumbled across a machinima video where it was just kind of featured in the background while they were showing some some Social Blade statistics that had like 600,000 views, but they deleted the video, so I can't even show you that one. Look at this lonely stork boy. Look at this lonely stork man over here. Still one of my favorite moments ever was when my internet friend Julian like drove all the way from New York State to our little local tiny premiere for that movie and then vlogged the whole thing and just like to see someone geeking out about something I made like that is just like the most rewarding thing. It's so good. Uh, one of my favorite video creators ever is Wheezy Waiter aka Craig Benzine. Just makes these really fun goofy videos. He inspired me to help like make YouTube videos in the first place because I loved his stuff so much. Um, I've been honored enough to meet him twice, and he's been in stuff that I've made twice because of that. He does this thing where at the end of his videos, one of his audience members winks and it makes a little ding noise. He can get creative with it. And so I submitted one for like a year and a half before he finally chose mine. And that was really cool. When I was in high school, I was fortunate enough to be part of this thing that Oberlin College was doing. Uh, it was like a film workshop thing. And uh, we made these short films, and here's one that I starred in. I helped like edit and put together and stuff. Um, when we screened this, Jonathan Demi, the director of The Silence of the Lambs, was there. So he saw precious moments like this. Sit down, son. I would rather make an honest living than take your dirty money! Ah! Ooh. Later on I interviewed him and it didn't go too much uh, less awkward. Yeah, me too. I, I can totally agree to that. <laughs> um, Watching the Silence of the Lambs, fantastic movie. Another one of my favorite internet creators is CGP Grey, who does this awesome podcast called Hello Internet with Brady Heron. And uh, he also has this really cool educational YouTube channel. He featured one of my questions in one of his question and answer videos. It was literally just the simple question of, uh, what can I do to get like famous on YouTube or whatever? Uh, I put my zip code instead of my name for some reason. And, uh, his response was to just make videos that people want to watch, and I still <laughs> clearly haven't quite mastered that one. There was the time that Mikola uh, took on my response. Yeah, Mikola did the ice bucket challenge after I tagged him. I was interviewed at CleveCon by the Phil and Eric show. Uh, my friend Ami included one of the songs that I made in this beautiful episode of a vlog series that she was doing. There's a folk artist named Danielle Ate the Sandwich who has also been in one of my videos um, and she included some footage that I did uh, in her To America fan collaborative music video. And I once did an interview for my friend B. Smitty where I basically just talked about how happy I was at the time. I didn't really have anything very interesting to say side of the fact apparently I was really happy. <laughs> and even just this past summer I finally got to meet another internet friend of mine, Matt, uh, and he included a snippet of me 
when we met up, and uh, he's much taller in person. He's a really cool guy. I'm not getting any closer than that. So as you can tell, I love being in a lot of these collaborations. There's more that have since been deleted or privatized and stuff like that too. Um, but that's the thing, there's just not as many people on YouTube. That's why you could be watching this video possibly on Facebook or IGTV. It's just spread out. It's just everyone's doing their own thing. And there's more people coming up along the way, and that's kind of exciting too. Oh, this is so much steeper than it looks on the video, I assure you. But if you want to hear something corny, my favorite collaboration of all has been with you, the viewers, over these past eight years. I hope you'll join me in the future. I got a lot of cool stuff coming up. Oh, I need to rest by this tree. <sighs> um, we also have a weekly podcast called Can You Not, in case you didn't know that. We're like 120 something episodes in. Uh, I also have been doing videos at least once a month, trying to up it up a little bit, uh, make it a little more frequent. And I got some other big projects coming up, so like, stay tuned. And if you really like what I do and you want to see those things happen, I have a Patreon. So you can go to patreon.com slash pogijoe, get all the deets. Almost there, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, yay! I made it to this grand obelisk, and I made it to this. So no matter what you've seen or how much you've seen in my work, I appreciate it. I appreciate all the views and the likes and the shares. It's hard to find people who vibe with what you're making. So it really does mean a lot. And uh, I hope you have a great day. I'm gonna try to find my way back to my car. Bye. <laughs> I'm on my way back and this lonely stork boy is still there. It's okay, lonely stork boy. I love you. The internet loves you.